Our top story tonight, a sting of violent attacks on female students at the University of Florida in recent weeks has the school on alert looking for the suspect, which leads to the question, how safe are students at Suncoast Colleges? SNN's Melissa Warren joins us now from the newsroom with what Suncoast Colleges are doing or should be doing about security. Melissa. Well, the string of assaults at the Gainesville campus began the night of August 30th when a female student told police she was beaten and almost raped. Later that night, another woman said she was dragged into a wooded area before witnesses were able to help her escape. And another woman approached Friday in the library parking lot fought back. While Sunday, a fourth woman was tackled but managed to get away. I spoke with the police chief for New College of Florida and USF Sarasota Manatee about why situations like these, even when they aren't happening as frequently on his campuses, can focus attention on how to make any campus safer. As far as uh, crime, we don't see a big rise in crime at the beginning of the school years. But what we do is we do inform them in orientation about our crime prevention programs. And at those orientations, the police department offers tips for staying safe. Uh, what I tell them besides traveling in pairs to make sure if you're traveling in a vehicle, your car is locked. Make sure you keep your hands free that you're not carrying so many that you can't protect yourself. Um, we, we give away whistles uh, to uh, the new students which have our phone number on them. Uh, we also tell them that they just feel uncomfortable to give us a call right away. Have their cell phones available so they can call us. They can dial 911 or they can call us directly. Now, Chief Kessie says that the violent crime statistics have been fairly low for the past several years at USF Sarasota Manatee and New College, but his department is always working to try to keep it that way through programs like RAD, Rape Aggression Defense, which teaches women on campus basic self-defense. Uh, I mean, yes, you can talk about, like, uh, they have, like, a rape aggression uh, defense uh, class that they offer, but it when you come to down solving the problem, it's not so much about women learning to protect themselves, it's more about educating men in our society not to attack people. The most recent data released for 2012, New College had zero rape cases and two the year before that. And Worcester says while crimes like rape or sexual assault may go unreported, she still feels safer at New College not only because of law enforcement, but efforts to change the culture there. Uh, here, more so than any other place I've been, has been very negative towards pe like people who are known like rapists. Like I know people who I know have raped people, and here they're very much not accepted. One of the rape aggression defense classes Chief Cassie was talking about is coming up on October 4th and 5th at New College, and he says female students, faculty, and staff members, or even alumni can participate. Well, I know we hear often more about sexual violence on these campuses being directed uh, towards women, but there are also assaults against men as well. So do they offer any programs for maybe those male students? Well, yes, Chief Kessie says they've partnered with Sarasota Police Chief DePino to offer a similar class for men on October 21st. Always safer in numbers. All right. Thanks, Melissa.